All right, have and have not fans. Unfortunately, we have yet to have the own YouTube channel drop the trailer for next week called Boom Boom Bang. Hence why I haven't done my trailer breakdown yet. Um, for this particular one, I really want to make sure I get high quality photos because there are some key scenes I want to make sure I'm able to break down effectively. But from the dialogue, I remember hearing that, you know, Jim plans to go after Candace Hannah and Benny if his money isn't returned because he only got a transfer of 835 which I thought is pretty funny so people have been asking me Jeremy what do you think Jim's going to do for revenge uh several people I mean not just one but several people have said do you think he's going to end up burning the house down or something that would be awful due to the fact that this isn't like a standalone mansion or anything this is like uh you know a living space on on a street full of other homes so if you do anything to damage, you know, Catherine's, like, place that she has Hannah set up in, that could do damage to other places as well. Not to mention, Derek built that house, so... Wait. Did... Wait. Did he... No, no, no. Did he build the place that Hannah's staying at now, or did he build where Catherine's house, where she's living now? I forgot. Yeah, it was one or the other. I forgot. But, in any case, um... I feel like when it comes down to it, Jim is going to get revenge. And I, revenge is like, you know, that word aside, it just seems, okay, I promise not to rant about the money because I've done that plenty of times already. It's good to know I'm not the only one tired of it because I'm looking at comments on videos. People are in the same boat as me. They don't care about it anymore. I just feel like Jim is entitled to be angry. I'll just leave it at that. I am not certain that he will get revenge on the Youngs right away because keep in mind, he is furious and him getting that pitiful transfer and then Candace going to his room again to taunt him will give him more reason to try to get revenge. But there's enough on his plate as it is the lawsuit against him by Celine and um, then, you know, of course, taking the keys, if you will, from David to drive the car that is the attempt of getting rid of Veronica once and for all. So I'm pretty sure if Veronica's out of the picture, then that means Celine's case against Jim won't even matter because, you know, yeah, no representation for Veronica, little chance she will win. But I think that learning that Hannah's the executor of the Cryer estate will make him change his tune. However, I really do think at this point, okay, and I don't really know how this works, but Candace and Benny, because, you know, now he has a million dollars, Candace and Benny being, I guess you could say, the holders of money that rightfully belongs to the Cryer estate, technically speaking, wouldn't Hannah be able to press charges? I know she would never do it because whatever, you know, those are her kids, but wouldn't she be able to, like, forcibly take the money from them or, you know, call the cops or do something? It's just baffling to me because, you know, and look, this should have been done. And again, I'm not ranting, but I'm just trying to figure this out. And hopefully my head won't explode as a result. We know for a fact that Catherine has a large stake in the bank. Her and um, her, Jim and Veronica all have chairs on like the board members of the bank, right? And they hold a lot, a lot of power. But Catherine holds more power than both Jim and Veronica because I know Catherine said one time, and I think it was the episode of Cup of Tea, that if she wanted to, she could like cancel Veronica, if you will. Basically because Veronica's riddled in debt. So even though she's trying to live this luxurious lifestyle, it, yeah, she's pretty much screwed if Catherine, you know, pulls the plug on her. And we know that she controls Jim because she's cut off his accounts multiple times and whatnot. And Lloyd is wrapped around her finger. So I think that when it comes down to it, knowing that Catherine, excuse me, knowing that Candace Young has money that rightfully belongs to them, it I don't see why um, Catherine or Jim wouldn't be able to tell Lloyd or whoever at the bank, Hey, this Candace Young, remember her? The one who got the $7.4 million from me before Lloyd? And not to mention before that, well, after that, she borrowed $2 million in cash from the bank and then we foreclosed on everything she owned. Which, 
honestly, I get that the bank would probably have Candace on like a watch list, you would think. So Candace being able to open an account, not for herself, but for Benjamin Young, has me scratching my head in terms of, um, why is the bank allowing her to do this? This makes no freaking sense. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe wouldn't Hannah, again, being in charge of the crier estate and whatnot, you would think that that would kind of mean Catherine's power is being transferred to Hannah, which means she would have authority at the bank and like, look, my children, get this money and give it to the cry. Well, maybe not exactly Jim's account, but transfer to whatever accounts I have control over because it's not theirs. Again, for anybody who works in the bank or, you know, like federal system or whatever, if you know more about this than I do, please feel free to chime in. And like I said, I promise I'm not trying to rant. I'm just trying to make sense of this because it literally does not. So I think Jim might put his revenge thing on hold because Hannah will be like, if you go after my kids, again, if you go after my kids again, I'll make sure you not you won't ever get your finger on a thin or on a red scent. Mr. Cryer, Mr. Jim. You know, I hope Hannah says Mr. Jim, but in a condescending way, back to Jim. That would be pretty funny. So I think that any attempts that Jim will make will be halted due to Hannah being in charge of the money. Because remember, unless Jim still has a few favors with some like street level thugs and whatnot that he can utilize against Candace and uh, Benny, without money, he is screwed. And remember that Candace and Benny have money, so they could technically use that to hire someone to get back at Jim if they wanted to. But I don't think that's necessary because Jim getting revenge is probably going to be halted what ha by what happens in the preview when Mitch shows up in the hospital room with Candace. But as I did, as I said in my video about what is Jim going to do with $8.35, I already went into the whole, I think maybe Jim contacts her Malone, specifically Mama Rose about what's going on, and we'll go from there. So with that being said, you know, definitely check out that video because I don't, there's no need for me going into full detail. So at the moment, I don't think Jim is going to do anything against the young family as of yet because once again preoccupied with the whole Celine lawsuit taking out Veronica once and for all wanting to get revenge on Candace and her family but then Mitch and the Malone name might put a halt to that so I think Jim's hand is tied not hands because one of his arms is still in the sling so I'm just going to say hand but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think Jim will do to get back at Candace and her family if he decides to do anything at all like I said i obviously think he will try but with the malones and hannah being in charge of all the money i don't think there's anything he can do i mean heaven forbid if something happened to hannah i don't know like would he be able to usurp the executor power from hannah but then that wouldn't matter because if memory serves marty told Catherine that the civil lawsuit was going to be placed against her and Jim for the death of Jennifer. So even if Jim got in control of the money, oh no, you lost the lawsuit, so you're going to lose everything. And if Celine wins her case, then she'll take her part of the money from that as well. So we'll have to wait and see. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help. Hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any new content. And with that being said, I'll talk to you all in the next video.